Hi there, this is Jenny from the Sewing Palace in Helena, Montana. Today's short video will teach you how to make the Quick Corky Wallet. This is a great little wallet made out of cork with a couple of supplies. My friend Haley of Bernina Creative Studio is going to take it away and teach you all the tips and techniques using your Bernina machine, specialty presser feet, how to use the wonder clips, and all the cuts that you'll need to make the wallet. We do have kits on our website as well as a free handout under the free section for Quick Corky Wallet. Take it away, Haley. Hi, I'm Haley Grish from Bernina of America and welcome to Bernina Creative Studio. Some of my favorite projects to sew are small accessories because they're usually pretty quick and simple to construct. One of the things that I've been loving lately is my new cork wallet made from the Quick Corky Wallet pattern by Sassafras Lane Designs. This pattern is really easy to construct because it's just a few pieces and they're all subcut from one five inch by 24 inch strip of cork. So that means out of your single cut of cork fabric, you can get a handful of wallets. I know cork may be an unusual material for some of you, but using a nonstick foot will make all the difference. For our project today, I'm going to be using nonstick zigzag foot number 52D. The Teflon coating on this foot is going to make stitching and sliding over that cork a breeze, and dual feed is going to power through any bulky seams, just rectangles and wonder clipping them wrong sides together. So the cork is on the outside of both pieces. We're using Wonder Clips, or you could also use a basting glue if you prefer that, um, but you want to clip or glue rather than using pins because cork, like leather or vinyl fabrics, once you perforate it, that hole is there forever. You can't uh, unpin cork. So when we have this clipped together, we're going to take our um, three and three quarters by two and a half inch piece and measure three inches up from the bottom. The bottom is towards me in here. And center it. and then we're gonna get ready to sew. So with our number 52D foot on the machine, we use presser foot selection to tell the machine what we're using. And we're gonna select triple straight stitch, that's number six. The nice thing with triple straight stitch is that you get a heavier top stitch look um, that is also more secure than a standard straight stitch. And it's also increased our stitch length to three millimeters. That's gonna give us fewer perforations than it would at a standard two and a half millimeters. And we're going to have the machine stop with the needle down. With our stitch set up, we're gonna place this under the presser foot and get ready to stitch down this pocket. I'm going to align the raw edge of the pocket with the inside of the toe of this presser foot and get stitching. When we reach the bottom corner, we're going to raise the presser foot, the freehand system, and pivot to make our way around the corner. and our pocket is stitched down. Next, we'll take the outside pocket piece and its facing and lay these two with the wrong side of the facing against the right side of the pocket panel, aligning at either of the five inch long edges. Then we're just gonna top stitch along either side of the facing using that same triple straight stitch.
So next, we are going to make a couple of measurements on this main panel. The first is going to be, we're going to measure two inches from the bottom. And I'm going to mark that with my little chalk, chalk liner. And then we're going to measure the center points along the top and bottom. Two and a half inches from either edge. And then we're going to mark one and a half inches in from the corners. Then we're going to draw lines from the center point to either of the one and a half inch marks. So that's going to create our envelope pointed shape. And then we'll cut on those lines. And we have our envelope. Next, we're going to look at the bottom point on our wallet and measure one inch away from the point to either the left or right sides. Make a little mark with our chalk. and then we'll take it to the machine. Now we are going to stitch between the two chalk marked lines on this bottom uh, corner. Again with our triple straight stitch. We'll start at the first mark. Pivoting at the corner at the point. And then stopping when you reach the second marked point. So next we are going to assemble our two panels together. You're going to take the main panel and then the outside pocket panel. Taking the outside pocket panel and aligning it to that chalk line that should be about two inches from the bottom. Placing the right side of the pocket panel down against the inside of the wallet. So things will line up like this. And we're just going to clip the sides. Hold everything in place. And then we're going to continue the seam that we had started all the way out to the edge, stitching through all three of these layers. So you're going to want to start where your stitching stopped and sew out to the edge. Be sure to secure your seam when you start here have the automatic securing set up on my machine. And we'll just sew all the way out. And cut your threads. And repeat the process on the opposite side. As 
securing the seam, and then working your way out. We have just one more seam left to sew on our envelope wallet. And to do that, we're gonna fold up this bottom panel. You can see things starting to take shape and clip these sides up. And what we're gonna do is start at this bottom edge and top stitch all the way around to create our final shape. So taking things to the machine. This is where that dual feed really comes in handy. This gets a little bit bulky in here. Let's start by securing that bottom edge and top stitch up around. When you get to the top edge of this pocket, just back stitch a little bit to make sure it's nice and secure since that's gonna see a little bit more wear and pull. And along the last side, again, just back stitching a little bit over that top pocket edge. And cut your threads, and you are all done. And there you have it. You have your very own quick, quirky wallet. On this pattern, you could add a little bit of extra embellishment, like a monogram or other small embroidery, um, just to personalize things a little bit more. Thanks for joining us for Bernina Creative Studio. I'm Haley and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching today's short video on the quick quirky wallet. Be sure to check out our video on the snappy wallet so you can learn how to make another version of this wallet. Both of these patterns are written by Sassafras Lane Designs. Check out our website, thesewingpalacebernina.com for your supplies, pattern, cork, and kits. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.